Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. So our video today is on Apple Music. And in iOS 10, there were so many updates to the to the app. It's right. kind of like we're doing a full tutorial of it. Right. And the first feature we wanted to show you that was new with iOS 10 is that Apple Music, it has its own panel now on the control panel. Right. Media Instead panel. of being, you know, jammed into the rest of the features, it has its own. So with all the buttons are nice and big and clear and it's really easy to use. Right. It's awesome. So, um, Apple Music, what exactly is it? Well, Apple Music is an app uh, that started shipping um, with iOS 8 and... When they bought Beats, <clears throat> When right? they bought Beats Radio, yeah. because, you know, there were, there were a variety of different streaming music right. services, like Beats, Spotify, Pandora, mm -hmm. and Apple started, uh, they bought Beats and then they, they turned it into Apple Music. Right. Um, so the Apple Music app is where you listen to all your music on the iOS device, whether you subscribe to the service or not. Okay. Um, and so it costs, if you want to subscribe to the service, it costs $9.99 a month or $14.99 for up to six family members. Yep, which my family, we did the family thing, it's great. Right, and we did it here too, and I love it because you can listen to virtually any song that's ever been recorded. Yep. You can add them to your library, which we're going to be going through all of the things here right. in just a second. Um, it also includes unlimited radio streaming, which they have a variety of different channels that we're going to take a look at. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you don't subscribe to any of that, this is still where you're going to go to your library and listen to your iTunes music that you have either um, added to a library from CDs or, or another method, or you've purchased from the iTunes store. Right. And just to clarify that... The iTunes app is where you buy music if you don't subscribe to the service. And then it'll show up here in your library, yeah, right. and this is where you listen yep. to it. So I think the first thing that we noticed with the uh, music app when we opened it up that was new with iOS 10 is these big, simplified, bold graphics. This right. looks very much like the Photos app. Um, nice, big, easy graphics, easy to understand. And the type big and bold, too, right. like the Maps app, so it's easy to see yep. things. Right. Everything's very clear. Right. So um, here we are at the library tab. Right, and you're at the library tab. This is the default screen for the library. We want to take a second here to show you this on the iPad. We're showing it to you on the iPhone and the majority of the, well, the, the whole demo we're going oh, to be right, doing yeah. on the iPhone because that's where most people listen to their music. Right. Um, but if you have an iPad, it's an awesome thing to set next to your desk or to use for listening to music. Right. So we want to show you a little bit different so you can follow along and know where these menus it is, are. It's, a little, it's quite a bit different. And you might iPad. be confused if you were on the iPad watching our, our video. video. Right. So we're going to take a second to look at it. Okay, so um, we've, we've got the iPad up here as well as the iPhone. And we're just going to show you the difference. So if you're working on an iPad, you can follow along. Right. Um, notice that on the iPhone, you have library nice and big. And then you have the options down below it. Well, we don't see that on the iPad, but we do have a library menu item up here and when you tap on it now you see the there giant library and yep. all the options the only difference here is we have a recently added choice right but um, on the phone you just see it right away. it just defaults to that on the yeah. phone right and then across the bottom we're going to be going through these different categories in the mm -hmm. video well on the ipad they are on the bottom but they're right. on the left side yeah. And um, we're also going to be pointing out here at the bottom, right above those categories, is going to be your uh, playing now yeah. button. And on the iPad, it's over on the right. Yep. Yeah. And it'd pop up on the left Very side. Very similar. Yep. Yeah. Great. Oops. Brought my notes. So this is one now. of those apps where it's pretty different between the iPhone and the iPad. So we just wanted to point out these key things. Generally, whenever you see a list like this on the phone, if you're working on an iPad, it's probably going to be a drop-down. A drop-down pop -up menu. in the upper left. Yep. Yep. So let's look at the rest of the music app. So what's the first thing you want to do in, with the music app is you want to listen to a song, right? Right. So I'm going to do um, one way to find songs is by searching. So I'm going to click on, tap on the little the magnifying glass in the lower right. Um, or in your iPad, it's that drop-down menu that we showed you. I'm going to go ahead in here, and I can, I'm can i going to type in the name of a group I like, want to listen to, The Killers. Okay, and you can see down here, you can search in your library or in all of Apple Music. Right. So you can really control your searching. 
When you've got it typed in, you just tap search. Okay, and then you can see it's showing your top results. It's showing you by song or by albums. I'm gonna go ahead here and play a song. So what it does is it starts playing it. And if I tap here, it's gonna bring it up big. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pause it so you can hear better. It brings up the controls nice and big. So this is your like now playing panel. Yep. Right, so you can see I can you know play it or fast forward or rewind. I can adjust the volume here. Um, this little cloud thing, if you see the cloud with the arrow down, it means it's not it's not downloaded to your device. Right. So if I was going to be listening offline or I didn't want to you know have streaming services, I could download it to my device. Right, and we'll be looking at that again later. Yep. And then this is how you're going to airplay it to um, speakers or any kind of device like that. Right. And then here's your more button. I'm going to tap on that. And you can see it's showing you, you know, download it if you want to download it or delete it from your library. You could add it to a playlist, create a station out of it, share it. And yeah. then this is really nice. Here's uh, one place where lyrics are. I'm going to show you those in a second in a different spot. But this is also where you can love it or dislike it. And how does it, what does it use love and dislike for then? It uses it, it's similar to maybe favoriting and some other apps. It's, um, it's going to use it to customize um, playlists or just suggestions for you based right. on what you have listened to, not only listened to, but, you know, loved right. or disliked. Right. So these are some further options here. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Um, if I scroll down on this screen, you can see here it pops up lyrics again. And if you tap, see, I can tap here and I can show the lyrics. Now, this is a brand new feature with iOS 10. It's a great feature. And it's feature. really cool, isn't I it? I love it. Yeah. You can sing along perfectly to right. your favorite music. Right. And, but not all songs have the lyrics, <clears throat> right? Right. And then up next, you could forward to, you know, the next song. So that's how you play a song, the basics of it, and it's nice and clean and easy. And, you know, wherever you are in the music app, it's going to show you your now playing right. recently song. Right. So we're in the search tab now, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on the library tab, but notice that still stayed there. Yep. And if you don't see that, it's because you haven't played a song yet. Right. Yeah, yep. you know, since you've opened the app. Since you've crash the app I think right. it is I think you actually have to start fresh but right anyway so it's always going to show you what you last played so we're going to the library tab and the library is showing us a variety of different things the first thing I want to point out is this edit feature okay so if I tap on edit it's going to allow me to decide what I want to see here I can do a little yep. customization um, maybe I do want to see videos so I'm going to go ahead and add video to that mix or compilations um, you can also rearrange things. So if I always want to be looking at my downloaded music, if I get anywhere on any of these three line icons, I can tap and I can drag that up to the top. Oh, that's awesome. It's a really great feature. So you can feature. customize it the way you want to view it. Exactly. Things. Yep. Go ahead Perfect. and hit done. Oops. There we go. And now you can see that downloaded music is the second up yep. and I also have video on my list. So that's great. Right below it, it's going to show all the recently added things to my library. Mm -hmm. So Apple Music is like a big pool of music out there for me to grab from, and I can add it to my library so that I can easily access right. it. Right, perfect. Yep. Oh, um, I think one of the nice new features about the library that everyone loves is oh, it easily yeah. shows you your downloaded music. Right. So you can know exactly what you have on your device if you're going to be going offline. It's easy. Right. You just tap on it. You can even view it by uh, different playlists or artists or albums, you know, any way you want. So you can know what is on your device when right. you're going so, offline. Exactly. So it's great. That right. was a good new feature. That's a great feature. Yep. Okay. And so I think that's pretty much it for the library yep. section. The next one is for you. I'm going to tap on that. And this is uh, created... It's for you. It's, for it's you. all made for you. All and about you. The, the two great new features about iOS 10 for this tab were my new music. It's going to make this playlist for you and my favorites mix. These two different playlists are updated weekly and it's created by them based on uh, what you listen to and what you favorite and right. things like that. Let's look at it. Let's go in and it'll show you the songs that are in it. Yep. And these are things that they think you're going to like. It's refreshed every Friday. Yep. And it's because of things that you've listened to or you favorited or disfavorited, I right. guess you would call that. Yep. So it knows you didn't like a certain kind. So those are two really nice mixes that they've got that are new. 
Then you can see you've got your recently played. This Tuesday playlist is fun. This is not necessarily just for you. Right. It's curated by the Beats uh, um, DJs, but they're fun to listen to. And you can scroll. Oh. I think it's important to show, too, that we can scroll left and right here, too, so that there are different. There's a whole bunch of playlists right. for today. That are new and also you recently things. played you can scroll through that yep. as well of course it's going to be different if you're on the ipad it's a bigger that's right screen, that's so. right you probably just see yep. them all on the ipad right. yep and then i'm just going to scroll down there's spotlight artists there's all there's all just sort of and this is a nice place to see your new releases are here and at the bottom is connect posts now these are artists where artists come and they connect they post cool. things and stuff and then you could comment them so we could comment so to Beck cool. here about how much we love his new song isn't that it's awesome fun. yeah probably fun invite feature. us backstage to the next concert then right, right? <laughs> so the for you tab is really just customized all for you and it's really cool right so the next tab is browse so if we go into the Which browse tab, not tabs, like yeah, they're not tabs. <laughs> into the category, the next page we're going to show you is browse. browse. And browse is a place where you can look at different music, um, new music that Apple's put out, curated oh, playlists. I'm going to pause you. Oh, okay, pause me. This is a favorite new feature of iOS 10. That's an easy way to find new music. That's oh, released. right, right. Yep. You just go to browse and boom, it's right new there. New music. So what if we go into new music, week? here's the new music that was released this week. Yep. Hot tracks that are being played, festival performances that are going on, new albums, yep. all big and bold. Again, I've gone into a category, so I'm going to tap back arrow. Um, on the iPad, you just want to tap on your menu and pick Browse again. Yep. Um, and so here we have, again, some of these featured playlists that they have out mm -hmm. there. They have New the cool music. curated playlists. Right. So the curated playlists are really great because um, different people put these together. They have some featured ones. And then they also have activities and modes. So, you know, if you're in a chill mood, you can go in here and you can mm -hmm. pick one of these playlists because they're going to be... You know, yeah, relax. it's a fun way to listen to music. It's a great It gives you so many feature. different options of how to choose your music. Right, and here are a bunch of curators, and they change. You know, sometimes yeah. it's a it's a, a star. Here it's people from The Voice. We've got BBC yeah, music. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Shazam, you know, the most Shazammed music. Oh, that's fun. Uh, so that's a really nice um, feature within there. We can also look at videos. Mm -hmm. So we can go in and look at um, videos. Yeah. And top genres, charts. top charts That's are fun, fun to look at. Yeah. 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 So we've got all our top charts in here, yep. songs on connect, videos on connect, and then we have genres. So you can yep. go and you can say, well, I want to listen to blues. Yep. Go in and find the blues music that you want to listen to. So you have a lot of features yeah. for going into things. I just want to show you one other thing on the curated playlist that we didn't. Oh, we did look at that. Didn't yeah, we, we did looked that. at the modes. I forgot. Yep. Okay. So browse is really good for, you know, well, what am I in the mood for right. browsing around different types of music? Right. The next one we're going to look at is the radio tab. And this is um, primarily Beats 1, which is very similar to, you know, Pandora and things like that. Um, you can listen to their live show or you can listen to one of their radio stations, which again is kind of going to be like types of music or, you know, moods, things like that. Right. Or you can, um, they have festival broadcasts, which are really cool. This Something. is the Apple Music Festival that's going on yep. right now. So you can listen to any of the live performances from any yep. of the groups. You recently played. Come down here. And um, you can also listen to some public radio stations here. Right. Public radio yep. stations come into the mix, too. You can look for those. Right. And um, radio is nice. Radio is a little bit different than listening to a playlist because... You just can go forward. You can't go. You can't go backwards in the radio right. playlist. You right. can go forward. You can pause it, um, and that's about it. But you can also add to your library. You'll always have the three dot icon. So even when you're in here, you right. can bring up and add to your library a song, mm -hmm. create a station out of a song, and so on. Yeah, it's kind of it's, it's it's just another option. Like and dislike. A, diff a different way to try to listen to music and see what you like and then right. you can kind of save it. And right. And the, it. and the app is smart. And the more you love and dislike right. different music, it's going to feed you, it's going to serve you up better things right. in all of the, the different areas that we've looked at. Right. So, so the Apple uh, Music app is really great with iOS 10 and it's just an awesome way to listen to music. It is. Thanks for learning with Sync Sisters. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.